Hi, I'm David Johnson, pastor of New Tabor Brethren Church right here in Caldwell, Texas, and this is Bible Boost. Welcome. Today's uh, subject, it has to do with fairness. It has to do with judging, and I've called this Judge Your Neighbor Fairly. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 15, one of the instructions to the children of Israel, God said, do not pervert justice, do not show partiality to the poor or favoritism to the great, but judge your neighbor fairly. Now this is an important thing because often as human beings, we find ourselves doing things that we shouldn't be doing, having thoughts we shouldn't think, uh, a snap to quick judgments of other people. And it comes, it comes across the way it is. It's, it's ugly, it's unfair. It is, it is not godly for us to do this at all. And you say, well, how do we get that way? We get that way from birth. We were born into sin and we have a proclivity to it, a natural inclination to do these things. And it's just flat wrong. Uh, you're born a pro at criticism and judging other people. It takes discipline for us to prefer one another, give the benefit of the doubt, and to pray for each other and not to just criticize. So. Ron and I, my wife and I, we were, uh, went to a restaurant and, um, and right next to it is another restaurant and uh, the name of the restaurant is called Hooters, okay? You've heard of this place, uh, they make chicken wings or something, I'm glad I've never been to one, but as I was driving past it, uh, and I've done this for several Sundays as we're going to the other restaurant, I think who would go to this place on a Sunday? What kind of person would go in there, you know, and I would just, just let it have it. And, and it always looks pretty empty on Sunday, you know, at noon. And, but coming out of the restaurant, I got in the car, we backed out, and I'm driving down the service road, and I took another glance because I'm wanting to find out who goes, what kind of person. And here's this guy, he's, he's a bald-headed guy, he's got a beard, and, and uh, it, I said, look at him, he's got no shirt on, he's got tattoos all on himself, and that's the kind of person that goes to Hooters on a Sunday. And my wife, very softly, very quietly, she said, okay, well, first of all, he does have a shirt on. That's just a design that he has. You know, maybe I should have my eyes checked. He said, um, so there's not tattoos on it or anything. And, and another thing, he's not going to Hooters. He's going to the Imperial Palace for Chinese food. She, did she look to me and she said, well, I think about the only thing you got right was this guy's walking across the parking lot. Now, you see how judgment can go. I missed it completely absolutely misjudged this guy and it was unfair. I was looking for a subject and I thought I found one and I unloaded. And here's what's even worse. I had just finished preaching on a Sunday morning. All of us had the ability to be wrong like this. Matthew chapter seven, verses one through five says, do not judge or you too will be judged, okay? For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use or the passion or the ferocity that you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? So, you hypocrite, Jesus is speaking. First take the plank out of your own eye, then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Hi. Do you have to pretend that everybody's okay and no one ever does anything wrong? No. No, you don't have to do that. But there's a different motive. So if you look at someone and say, that's wrong, then you're seeing a problem. But if you look at someone and say, you're wrong, see, there's a difference there. That's where the judging comes in. The difference is in the motive. Are you building up or are you tearing down? That really is the difference in judging and doing something out of love. Your attitude should be, how can I help, you know? Instead of saying, you're pathetic. Big difference, we all know this. We don't wanna call people pathetic. We wanna be fair in our judgment and we want the motive to be out of love, not just ugliness. Romans chapter two, verses one through three speaks of this. It says, so then each of us will give an account of ourselves to God. Now listen carefully. It says that, so then we should all stop passing judgment on one another Instead, make up your mind not to put any stumbling block or obstacle in the way of a brother or sister. Judge fairly, okay? Allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you right now and correct you. And that, that's it. You have to want to do what is right. If you want to do what is right, God will speak to you. He will fix you. He will heal and cleanse you, okay? God bless you. We'll see you next time on Bible Boost.